Blue rags and gray rags. That's how we get out. Well, when he's going to try to get on me, we good. All right, dudes, come. That's how I park when I have crib. What was I talking about? Talking about how the white boy drives you. Oh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry, right, side of the streets, talk that shit, let him make hey, it sound wait, good. Wait, say it one more time, one more time. <laughs> hey. I be trying to get that shit, I up. I don't see how I did that. Say yeah. it one more time. Hurry, right, side of the streets. Uh, hold on. <laughs> Come, on <laughs> Come on, one more. I got it. All right, real, MV, uh, real MVP TV signed to the streets. You feel me? With the Parkers of the A39 Crip and all that. You know what the fuck going on. Why y'all think y'all get that stigma? Because we from the valley, you feel me? It's like desert. Ain't nobody really. You feel me? Ain't They feel like. If you ain't from the city, then you ain't shit type. Shit. That's how some be making it seem. But when you come out here, you really get to seeing what the shit really is. You feel me? Yeah, cause me from the bay, from the outside looking in, I thought it was all the same shit until nah. I got out here. Yeah, when you get out here, you mention the valley. And they try to laugh at it until they get out here. When they get out here, that's when they really gonna be like, oh, okay, we know what the fuck is going on. All right, dudes, come West Side Park when they have crib. Flip so, this way so I don't get his plates. So. Okay. I'm 23, so when I first started coming outside, I turned 15, fresh out of juvenile hall. I got put on right here. This is where we do all our put ons at. If we get any Long live JI. Long live JI. Shit, really what happened is they used to be like from some LA hood. So one of my cousins was out here. They was, he was from LA. So they got into it. You feel me? You know how like LA politics is. He was a blood, so no Mexicans type shit. So. By the time we got back right here, we got like right here, they hit the corner in like a black truck, kind of like that yellow one. And then bounced out with crowbars, all type of shit. Yeah. After that, I broke to the house right here on the corner. And then I went and got my brother in. We came back outside and started fighting with them. That shit lasted like three days. Yeah. Three days? Oh, my mama, that shit lasted like three days. We was over here every day. The, ne the very next morning, my dad come right here and try to talk to him in front of this bush right here. And the homie. He, um, but the homie walked up and asked my dad, like, you good? He was like, yeah, we just getting into it. Oh. This. That walked up to that bush and knocked her son out and took off running. How did that get soft? Just stopped. Like, Niggas got tired of fighting. kept coming mm -hmm. every day and shit like that. She started calling the police after that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my mama. <laughs> That's well, one of these fuckers don't try to get on me. We good. <laughs> if they walk up on me, pop this motherfucker. See anything? Look, look, that one talking. down there, know the deal. He started taking yeah. off. They got some more donkeys. They be calling. Where? Down oh, there. Down there. Down there yeah. Told you they gave yeah, They be all kind of different, right? They may not look like I'm in one of the craziest hoods right now. We got a 90 degrees weather, sweatsuits. We got donkeys on the block too. <laughs> all type of <laughs> this near Parkland, Park. 39 crib, just like that. Blue rags and gray rags. That's how we get out. Wherever the light is at. Other than that. Dark down there. Pitch black at nighttime, you know what you're gonna see? Donkeys, coyotes, raccoons, or a, raccoons, or a creeping up on you. Or it's the infamous alley right here. That's where you do DPs, put on, all that right here. But well, we got the park right here, and that's pretty much it. And you got the whole little parking from when you came pulling in down all the way to the back down there. Then we got this big field. We call it the wash. Like when you go to camp, if you know Marino Valley, really, especially this part. You got Vista Heights and you got Canyon. You gonna go from Mother Midland to Vista Heights if you live over here. Then all the people across the street that live right there in front of Midland gonna go to Palm. You can walk through this big wash and get to Vista and Canyon five minutes max. Probably not even that. So how close proximity are the people y'all into it with? Are the people that like were you in danger? Uh, they one block over though. When you go down, when you came up this way and come up to the light, the street before us, you go right there. They over there. Then you got some more people over there on the west side, but ain't really, I wouldn't call it too much danger and shit like that, but you know, you have your days and shit. Most you gotta know it, you feel me? Most is gonna make it seem like they real tough and on the internet. You see them in person, them not like that. They be cool, all, oh, what's up? They try to be what's up, or they try to not look your way and go a whole different way. Nigga, I don't really pay attention to niggas like that. So what's the politics like out here in the valley? You can ask this. He'll, he'll be able to tell you more. He older than me from like the old shit. It's, it's pretty much the same thing, but right here in Reno Valley, it's pretty much like you got the east and the north. They consider one little section, and then you got yeah. the west side, and then you got the uptowns, you feel me? So it's basically like allies pretty much out here. <laughs> we don't have any allies. It's just us. We, it's just west side park, you feel me? But that's pretty much how it is. That's how you divide it from sections and shit. You got the east and the north which would be Sesh Cash area. 
and whoever else that they mess with. Then you got the west side, which would be the edge mine. The edge monster, we, the uptowns, the you uptowns west of the town. The but we consider like west side too, but as you can see, it's on the northwest. You feel me? Same shit like LA. They criminals, you feel me? Then you got the uptowns that's block cribs. We gangster cribs, you feel me? Three feel me nine. Good. We moving. So we press the three. Yeah. Really, you got that press IE all the way down to Blythe before San Diego, Riverside, and yeah. San Bernardino. But as far as Moreno Valley, yeah. Oh, right, so Moreno Valley is separate from the IE. Nah, nah it, it is the, the same, IE. It's we, Riverside we County. Press the murder. Yeah, it's Riverside, Riverside County. County. Don't it's, get into it when like when you really say like we oh we from the IE, but when you really get into it, you're gonna be like I'm from the murder. I'm from Riverside. I'm from San Bernardino. You feel what I'm saying? It's, it's basically like this. The IE is basically Riverside County and San Bernardino County together. You feel me? Moreno Valley is Riverside exactly. County. You know how many I did? I did my first little skit around, right here around the, in this same on, little thing right here. All type of shit. shootouts, all that. Shit. I remember we used to take pictures. We used to take pictures right here in front of this wall. We used to all get together, especially at nighttime. Maybe. We used to leave from the alley because the niggas in the house we used to be too loud, so they used to. Uh, I called the police on it, so we used to come right here. This nigga that live in the corner house, he used to be cool. He didn't give a f about what the f we was doing. Man, I know this f right here is dangerous. This nigga got a ski mask on. It's 90 some degrees out here. Sweat suit. Oh shit. Yeah, that's my nigga Shiesty right there. I wish I still had the video on my phone. I remember I fought a white boy. It was down there more though, like more towards the smoke shop and shit. We had. Oh, she drove up here. Oh, fucking. Uh, what was I saying? Cause I forgot. What was I talking about? I didn't cheat him my head up hold on oh about the you white, boy. About how the white boy drives Nigga. you huh? <laughs> i was still just talking about how the white boy drabs you oh hell no <laughs> <laughs> this is stupid he said how the white boy grabs you nah we got down it was like down there though Me, see i'm way. a little bit older it, it really started getting real out here i would say 2004 first little incident happened right there on mark twain one of the uh, test cash members got killed and all that. That's when it really started to crack off and really started to pop in 2004. Mm -hmm. That's when that's when Reno Valley started to really get known get and got his name up and everything. You feel me? So you seen how everything like changed? Yeah, I seen how everything changed and how everything unfolded. I didn't see a lot of these hoods formed. I didn't see a lot of these hoods get demolished. You, you get what I'm saying? I've been out here since 1997. So then can you tell us what it was like before the bullshit happened and then how it changed everything? Edgemont's and Edgemont locals always been here. They've been here since the 90s. You feel me? Edgemont is one of the first original hood. It's always been gang activity, just not as much. It didn't start cracking until like the early 2000s when all these other hoods start forming and you know how that go. After that, right there, uh, I don't know if you know, right there at the uh, Real Rancho. When they put that up, <laughs> that's when it really I started E40 cracking. Came out E40 there that came day. out. That was in like 2006. E40 came out. Every hood from Riverside County, even San Bernardino County was out there. If you really from out here, you gonna like, know. That was wobbling. But even before then, it was a it was a liquor store called out here called Junior Market right there on the, on the south side right now. Over there in that area, that's like the David Lane Bloods area now, but it was called Junior Market. That store wasn't safe. It was like one of the worst stores out here. They tore that down, put a a, a police station and tore that down and now it's a park. What was your uh, first time witnessing violence or seeing it for yourself? My first time, like I said, was in 2004. I was a, I was a kid then though. I was still, I was still young. I was like 11, 12. At the other, like I said, over here, they threw a house party. Pretty much, they threw a house party. You already know how that go. Different people there, different attitudes, different people get to yelling out they hood, saying they gangs and shit. And they start fighting and then fighting lead to shooting. But that was really pretty much the first time that I actually witnessed something up close, you know, that happened. That's pretty around 2004. This the we had a party and some niggas pulled up. And when they pulled up, we was having a party. My my uh brother, Young Note. Oh, y'all supposed to work with him. Long story short, some niggas pulled up. They started tripping. We all in a party. It's like 15, 20 of us. My brother come running in there like, hey, some niggas outside tripping. We come outside. We press this. This going the alley it's the little alley that they showed you right there they was all parked right there so they was already on some ambush type because all of them all of them just parked right there they hopped in the car they gave come around the corners 
they just start letting up. It, it's a lot of people outside, innocent people, you feel me? They get to shooting and all this. Everybody scattering, running, tripping over each other. People that bust their heads open, mouth open, trying to get away from the gunshots and shit like that. That's just one, that's just one scenario. There's plenty more that I could go on. <laughs> you yeah. remember that shit? Yeah. My goose was popping back then, so I'd go ride my bike down here. So when we get to the bottom of this motherfucker, it's like a little, this white boy had a ramp. It was like five other niggas down there. So they get to tell me like, oh yeah, you could jump on the ramp, you feel me, type shit. So I'm hitting the ramp and shit. And then on my, one time I go up there to throw a scooter at me. So it made the tire spin in the yeah, front. I did that before. <laughs> I that fell. As soon as I <laughs> fell, <laughs> nigga, by the time it bounced out and whooped on the nigga. Yeah, I told him that too. It whooped him down. After that, nigga, my mom and them came down there because the homie I came and got him and shit. told him how I fell off my bike and shit. they was all tripping. But after that, the nigga was cool though. The nigga I put on the hood and everything. But yeah, we was we was like getting it toward the Mexicans. They was chasing these little niggas around before he even jumped off the porch. These little niggas was getting chased around by the Mexicans over here. They used to come through here, chase these. Niggas with crowbars, scooters, throwing at them and all these shit. Little, little niggas riding on scooters and bikes. And so, me and my brother, uh, Note, man, we used to come over here, they would start swerving the Mexicans. Literally, I, I kid you not, swerving them to the point to where they had a little clique called TKF. Me and my brother, Note, man, we demolished them niggas, just me and him by ourselves, literally. But it was times that the motherfuckers the Mexicans would slide through here, bounce out, and we just get it cracking. Right, we could be standing like this, this motherfuckers just pull up, nigga, jump out with crowbars, all kind of shit. We gotta get it cracking. <laughs> That's just how it is over I here. Hey, free the homie bone though, two times. I got a story about that. I remember I was at school. This went in right in the motherfucking parking lot of the jails and shit. It used to be a house right here. Way back then when I was going to school, it used to be a rock, but they shut it down. Now it's like they split it in half. One half is a, um, I want to say a furniture store, and the other half is a Dollar Tree. But uh, long story short, the n go from doing that and running into the wash. You remember the wash? I just told you about the wash field. Mm -hmm. They had the school, they had Kane and Vista locked down for four hours looking for that. He was in the sewer. And my mama. What did he do? He had robbed in the parking lot. That four years for that shit. Turned around and went right back. Well, the worst over here on Parkland, everybody else got raided. <laughs> <laughs> at one time, at, at one, one time, time, me and uh, the homie JF house, RP. At one JF time, on because we had we had this uh, young no had made a diss song to our ops and, and it had all kind of blowers and in it. Like a few days later, you got really watch A few yeah. days later, the police came and raided our shit and the homie shit at the same time. It was early in the morning, early getting up, still in they boxes and shit. <laughs> they didn't give a f about that. Yeah, you and the, the police tank was outside. The whole block from the bottom of that fucker right there on Rocky Ridge where he showed you, from the bottom to the top, full of police. I remember one time we was right there by the house and it was this. Nip, I used to live over there. It looked just like Nipsey Hustle, low key. Just a like lucky smoker version, but um, <laughs> <that Smoker version. laughs> on the real. But uh, long story short, the police had hit the block. They thought it was a Simone that had broken into a house over here earlier. Came over there and laid everybody down from the old people to the kids. They didn't give a who you was. They bounced out trucks and everything, blowers out, ready to blow. And crazy incident over there with the police. We was over there like 30 thick in front of the homie house that passed away, J.I., right there on Rocky Ridge. We like 30 thick. He got his TV outside. We played video. We playing the game, all kind of shit. Police came swarming. And they set us all on a curve from age group, from the, oh, yeah, from the youngest to the oldest. They were stuffing everybody in the police car. Four, yeah. Four people in the police car. You see how police cars are small. They were stuffing us all in that motherfucker. Fuck. Searched everything. Late night creeping, barbecues. Yeah. Nigga. Shit, all type of shit. Got <laughs> robbed right here. Football, Football game. The homie house used to be right there that he used to fit. It's backyard car right here. Right here. 